<laughs> so Ben, um, you worked with Sasha before. What was it like working with him on this film? Did he stay in character when the cameras weren't filming? Um, the, the, uh, from what I could gather uh, and what I enjoyed was that it was, a, it was an observed ritual where about two to three minutes before going into the take, he would go into character. Um, which I found uh, admirable and fascinating. He is the opposite of the dictator. He's the polar opposite. Uh, the man who's playing, as I was saying earlier, that cares little for his country, less for his people, uh, and holds most of the rest of the world in utter contempt. That's the polar opposite of Sasha Baranka, who is a massive humanitarian heart. Um, so for him to have the peripheral vision of judging the comedic rhythm of the whole film uh, with Larry, he then had to jump into a character that's opposite of himself. So I think the ritual of going into sometimes we would clap, sometimes we would sing, uh, chant our way into his world. Uh, I found really admirable and necessary because Sasha's playing the polar opposite of herself. That's always challenging and exhilarating, but it does take a huge amount of effort and concentration. And doing it relentlessly day after day. That's the thing that I at one point said to him. I was like, you know, because for us, you know, we are we all don't even share that many scenes together. So I think his days a lot of times were him in a scene. And, Madonna, and that's how it kind of broke up. And this, the days were long, and I was like, you're doing this every day, you know, for the whole, like, I was like, how could you not just pass out by now? It, it seemed like a, a Herculean task. Four hours sleep, some nights. Yeah. Um, we, we, we would rap, we would, we would, you know, rap and have our adult beverage or not. And uh, Sasha would then be working the clients. Yeah. Three hours. And would be as fresh and as open and as welcoming the next day. I remember one day we finished like we finished like 14 hours of something absurd. I can't remember what. And uh, and I was like, oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna eat a hamburger. I'm gonna crash. And he was like, oh, well, we're about to do four hours of wig wig testing, yeah. where they just came in and were testing different beer wigs. And I was like, what are you talking about?
what if you think that the day the dictator is weak? I hope we can. Um, but there is a relationship between the dictators and, the, and, and those oil men. There's a relationship between the dictator and the you know, mineral rights or the arms deal. Um, there, there will always be puppets to front dirty deals as long as they're dirty deals. You get rid of dirty deals, but then the dictators will have a role. Um, but provided we need to you know, exploit miners and farmers and whatever for massive profit, then the dictator will always police and, and make sure that the country is serving the interests of the multinationals. Um, so uh, I, I honestly, uh, the scrapping of history is, is, uh, is optimistic, but as long as we have these guys doing deals, um, you know, their dark classes, other guys in dark classes, um, we're, we're going to have to Hi Jason, how did you arrive at the accent that you've got? You call it a generic accent, and what other personal touches did you put into the character that were in the script? Um, uh, the, the accent came from, uh, let's see, uh, it's, been, it's kind of an accent that I've done for a while as a random ethnic guy. <laughs> um, being anything like brown, basically. Um, and so that accent, that accent is, you know, it's a little bit Middle Eastern guy. It's a little bit, uh, I'm Greek in background, and there's a little bit of, like, my, there's a little bit of my grandfather in that accent. And then um, we worked with a great uh, language coach, Howard Samuelson, who kind of because Sasha was doing his accent, and I was doing my argument between, you know, a lot of these kind of very argumentative scenes. And so, working together, or not working together, but both working with the same language coach to make it sound as though we were speaking the same type of language was important, because a lot of the things that I was doing initially had sounds that were not what his sounds were, and he was doing things the same. So, so we worked with this guy, Howard, who was actually terrific. I, I found him really helpful in terms of locking down an accent that was specific to what we were doing, but was not specific to any country. You know, there was not like, we are doing an Iranian accent, or we are doing an Egyptian accent. It was very, kind of, it was pulling from all different places, which I thought was great. Uh, and what, per, what was the second part, what personal trait did I bring to the role? Um, pretty much, giant beard. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I brought. And his charm. Oh, uh, he's the best. <laughs> We're, shines. We're best friends. <laughs> Now we're, now we're, <laughs> we're doing all of our movies together now. <laughs> Who's being idiotic in front of you for his uncle, 
what is needed to be So that parallels the acting challenge that we have on the set. So to Lara would be to come out a character which would be disservice to Sasha because he never does. And, 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 and the film doesn't really require us or need us to come out of character and say, just kidding. I don't know who invented that phrase, just kidding, but I learned it. <laughs> <laughs> Vigorously. Uh, uh, we're going to find that guy. And we're going to find Oh, man. He is the beginning of the death of irony, actually. <laughs> Why? Hmm? Why? 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 Because, Why? because uh, it, 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 it doesn't allow the irony to rest or to be translated by the listener. Uh, and it immediately cauterizes, uh, aborts uh, any, any enjoyment of the irony by, by banging it on the head of the hammer. I'll say this, the only thing worse than just kidding, which I'm in agreement with, is the abbreviation JK. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for just kidding. Oh, 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 by the way, that's a thing. I'm just that's a for real thing. It is like, I'm like, I'm going to say this horrible thing, JK. As a Brit, I find that terrible. I'll text it to you later. <laughs> Hugely admiration for him, and the way he kept his finger on the pulse of the rhythm 